All right, so you, you guys know I always have to do a close-up of everything before I start the video. I made that mistake a few times. I made the, the basket and I'm like, dang it. I should have showed them all the stuff before I made the basket. But this is my pretty paper confetti that I'll be doing, well, I'll be using today. Went back and got some eggs today. Got this long slinky. Got some sour bunnies. Got some bubbles. Got some Skittles. Got some Reese's. Got some Tootsie Rolls. Got some Kool-Aid jelly beans. Rice Krispie Treats bunny. Of course, you gotta have the Sour Patch Kids. Of course, you gotta have the Peeps. So normally I use the, well, actually not normally. I just started using the, the big um, plastic buckets this year for whatever reason. But usually in the past years, I would use wicker baskets for all of my baskets. But I mean, sometimes people request the plastic buckets for the kids, but usually I use the wicker baskets. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. Look at this big bow. This thing is huge. This thing is way bigger than, than what this camera displays. Got the Easter eggs, of course. All right, let's get started. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever it is, wherever you are. So today I'll be doing another traditional Easter basket theme. I'm not leaning more towards girls or towards boys. This, this will be a regular traditional neutral Easter basket. So the paper confetti that I'll be using today, it's a mixture. I wish I had more yellow or green to mix in here because it, it is mostly pink, but I had a lot of this left over from the other basket. So I'll be finishing this off with this basket here. I have a large slinky. Is that what they call them these days? We used to call them slinkies. I don't know. Okay, so I have more Easter eggs. These are like really big. Um, I have some sour gummies, sour bunny gummies. I have a big hair bow, which I'm not actually gonna put in this basket. I'm gonna put this in my little cousin's basket. I don't even know why I put this on the table. So I have a bunny. And then I have another, I had one of these left over, the little bunny. You can put Easter eggs, candy, money, whatever you want to put in these little sacks. And they're just really cute because when they're in the Easter baskets, you can leave the ears out like that. All right, so I have some Skittles. I have several plastic Easter eggs that are not stuck yet. I have some carrots. <clears throat> And these are not edible, nor are they toys. They're just regular decor. So I'll stick these in the front of the Easter baskets as well. <clears throat> of course, we have to have the peeps. Got some peeps and a Rice Krispies chocolate bunny. We have the bubbles. We have the yo-yo. We have the carrot chocolates that I've been showing you guys in the other videos. And then we have just the golden eggs. I have some Kool-Aid. My mind just went blank. I have some Kool-Aid jelly beans. And what else? Sour Patch Kids. And I also have this cool little visor hat thing that I saw in the store. I should have gotten more for the other Easter baskets, but I think I'm going to go back and get those because I don't know. These are like really springy and I think they'll be cute for Easter baskets. So today... Contrary to most of my subscribers' belief, because when I started my Easter, bas Easter basket series this year, I used the, the big buckets, plastic buckets. However, I actually normally use wicker baskets for all of my baskets. Um, so for the, the Mother's Day baskets, Father's Day baskets, and every other holiday, I typically use wicker baskets. I usually don't use the big plastic buckets normally. So today I will be using a wicker basket. I'm going back to my roots. And I think I got this from Target like two Easter's ago. I already have it stuffed. So I used the brown paper. Um, if you haven't watched my other videos, I use the brown paper roll. Um, I normally use newspaper, but it's hard to find newspaper these days. 
So I just got the regular paper roll and then I always use at least two sheets of tissue paper on top of the paper. So since I already have this stuff, I'll go ahead and, oh, these are my, I've had these for like two years as well. I, I use these, I had, originally I had about 10 of these and I used these for Easter last year. So I'll make two more for this year. So I'll go ahead and stuff the basket with the paper confetti. Okay, so I usually put enough paper confetti so that the uh, the tissue paper doesn't show. However, if it does show, that's the reason why I put the, the tissue paper on top of the newspaper because you don't want ugly newspaper or ugly paper showing in the Easter basket. So it still looks pretty with the yellow if the yellow if the yellow decides to present it, itself or show itself, which it won't because I have too much paper paper confetti on there okay so the first thing i'm going to do guys is use <clears throat> the easter coloring book and i'm going to use this first because it's my biggest item so i'll bend this ryan is recording this video so if you guys start seeing the video shaking that means her arms are hurting which is fine because I'm still waiting on my ring light. Tony filmed my other video. We had to take breaks because he was really tired. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I may have to glue this just so that it can stay. Or maybe I don't. Maybe that's fine. Let's see. That looks fine to me. That looks perfect. Okay. However, I still may glue it before I, I wrap it, but it's fine right now. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to start off with the uh, bunny. And whoo, this is huge. Oh my goodness. This is huge. I'll just put this there. So I will need some glue for the bunny so that it can stay. And I'll just put a little bit of glue on the edge and glue it to the corner of the coloring book. I don't use tape, I don't use the glue dots or anything. I like my glue gun. It has, it's been proven that it works for years and years and years. I don't, I don't trust the tape to keep my items in place at all. Is this coloring book moving? It seems like I, I stuffed it down and it's kind of rising up. So I may go ahead and put the glue on the sides of the coloring book so it can stick to the basket. Might as well do it now and get it over with. Okay, so what else? What else, what else, what else? You gotta have the bubbles. And since this basket is sort of neutral, I'll just put the green bubbles in it and then we have the Easter Bunny stickers and I'll just take this to the side of the coloring book right there everything has to be on display I don't want anything covered or hidden Ryan's looking so bored but when I get done with this video she's gonna ask can she eat some of this candy Aren't you? Say it. Let them let them hear you. No. Yeah, right. She's gonna be like, well, mom, since since the video's over, can I have some candy? And I'm gonna say no. I'm selling this stuff. However, this one actually may go to my little cousin. But if you guys do want to see my other Easter baskets, blissfulbundleskipshop.com. Blissful Bundle Skip Shop on Instagram and Facebook. All right, let me go ahead and put the peeps in here because you, you, you gotta have the peeps. You gotta have the peeps. Actually, I may put the peeps up front. I think that'll be cute. I'm hot, it's hot in here. I have on a jacket and a sweater. So, this keeps popping off. 
Sometimes with the glue gun and plastic, it doesn't really do well. It does really well on cardboard, but I don't know. So let me go ahead and stuff some of these carrots right there. That's cute. That's cute. Got to stuff some of the Easter eggs. I think I want yellow. I want the yellow one. Okay. Sometimes these Easter eggs are really hard to like close. Okay. Let me get an orange one. <laughs> All right, so can't leave the bunny out. I'm gonna go ahead and put the bunny right here in the middle. And what else? I have some little Reese's here that I'll put in the front. Ooh, should I try to stuff the yo-yo in here? I need some scissors. I have my pretty um, pink craft scissors. But of course, I don't know where they are. All right, so I'm going to put two of the metallic Easter eggs. I have two of the plastic ones already. So I'll do two of the metallic as well. And I'm trying to figure out. Actually, I think the bunny needs a carrot. I'll put the little carrot chocolates right there. Because if I put one of these carrots, this is taller than the bunny, right? Well, you know, well, there you go. She can hold them, she can hold it. Or he can hold it. Whatever the bunny is. Okay, now my chocolates are falling. All right, so what else? I don't know where this is gonna go. Oh my goodness, okay. Can you see the chocolate bunny, Ryan? Yeah. There we go, okay. I would definitely have to glue this so that this won't. And also normally what I do guys, sometimes I'll put the hot glue on the, the actual tag of the item and that helps it stay as well instead of putting it on. Yeah, that'll work. What I'm gonna do as well when I get my real setup I'm gonna is that the mailman I'm gonna start doing really like really good close-ups of my craft making especially my wall decor when I'm painting and crafting my, my wall nursery decor that people order I want it to be close up instead of so far back so you guys can really see what I'm doing all right got the bubbles I don't think the yo-yo is gonna make this basket the yo-yo may have to wait what else Let's sprinkle some colorful Tootsie Rolls in here. I like colors and normally, so normally like with my character themes, I like all of my items in the basket coordinated, color coordinated, even down to the tissue paper. I like everything to be coordinated. However, with this particular basket, it's neutral, it's colorful, so whatever, whatever goes. All right, so I think I'm done. I may try to stuff some more stuff in here. I'm not sure. But that's pretty, though. You want to zoom in, Ryan, or come closer? Just walk closer and show them. Guys, see? All right, yeah, I'll be sure to. I'll rearrange it and put some more stuff in here, maybe, because I really wanted this yo-yo to go in there. But I think I did pretty well. I got most of the stuff in here, especially the Easter basket, traditional stuff. Let me put this in here. This does definitely has to go in there. So let's put some Tootsie Rolls in here. If you guys haven't liked or subscribed, please do so. If you're still watching, you're still watching for a reason. So you might as well just go ahead and subscribe and watch all of my other Easter videos. Thank you. All right. So I'm not going to put that down there. Oh, where am I going to put this? It has to go in this basket. Ah, I already glued this. 
I do this all the time. I get too many items for these baskets and I end up like trying to figure out what is going, what's gonna make the actual basket. Some items make it, some don't. Okay guys, hold on, cause I want you guys to see this. Okay, bam. I don't know how it's going to stay up there, but it's, it's up there right now. I'll figure it out. But, okay, like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Um, if you subscribe and you also have a YouTube channel, making baskets or shopping hauls or whatever, let me know. I'll also subscribe. Bye. All right, guys, here's a close-up of the basket. I have the coloring book. We have the bunny, the chocolate bunny, the Skittles, the chocolates, the metallic eggs, the peeps, the slingy, and the little cute rabbit bag with the long ears. <laughs> have the regular plastic eggs. Where's my other egg? I think someone took it out already. Someone meaning Ryan or Tony, of course. Yeah, I had another plastic egg. All right, good night, guys. Like and subscribe. I have to go investigate. Bye.